The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Lobotus Spa Resort is actively preparing for summer 2024 and expects an increase in the number of tourists this year. Georgi Kewanishuli, executive director of Lobotus Spa Resort, notes that Lobota will offer visitors a new 80-room hotel from June 1. However, this will not be the only infrastructural project that is planned to be opened at the resort on the first day of summer. We have a lot of news from June 1. We are opening a new hotel which will provide 80 additional rooms. The hotel will have a 35-meter pool, bungalows and etc. In addition, a completely different type of aquapark is being organized on Lopata, not the kind we are used to. It will be a unique green aquapark hidden in the forest of endemic species, notes the executive director of Lopata Spa Resort. Along with this, a jazz club will be opened opened at the resort from June 1. Construction and repair works of each project is completed. Lopoda Spa Resort has been in operation in Kakheti since 2008 and offers various service to international and local tourists around the year. After the completion of a new infrastructure project, the number of hotel rooms in the complex will exceed 300. Erekle Kokaya, the executive director of hotel management company Ingroup, declares that despite the fact that winter in Gori is considered low season for tourists, the occupancy rate of Gori Inn has increased to 60%. This is a significant increase compared to the last year. Erekle Kokaya predicts that the occupancy rate in Gori Inn should increase to 90% this year. According to him, the hotel is mostly visited by local, while Gori Inn also hosts athletes and foreign guests. Especially Especially from Europe. As for tourist groups, they mostly visit us from Thailand during the winter, while in summer we hope that the number of Chinese guests will increase because last year their number was quite large. Also, bookings from Uzbekistan are slowly being activated, Kokaya said. As for the rate accommodation in the hotel per night starts from 200 lari and the cost of the service varies depending to the season. Gorin is a chain of hotel management company in group more than 20 million lari was invested in the construction of the hotel and it includes 120 rooms in total. Georgian furniture manufacturing company Bekauriat is planning to expand this year. The sales director of the company, Tsotne Hatisashuli, told BMDG about this. According to him, the company located in Didi Romi district in a two-story building has been manufacturing the furniture since 2014. The first floor of the building is an enterprise, while the second floor is a showroom. Due to the high demand, it's planned to build a second plant next to our enterprise, in which we have to invest about 300,000 USD. We buy raw materials from importers in Tbilisi, the largest part of which is Australian or Italian raw materials, Hatisa Shuili says. According to him, at this stage, about 20 people are employed in the enterprise. However, after the increase in production, it's planned to add more staff. Alexandre Chabashvili, the founder of Glamping Hotel Sirnari Glamping, told BMDG that it's planned to arrange a recreational space and an entertainment zone on the territory of tourist facility this year. However, they don't know exactly how much investment will be needed. Currently, the working process is underway, Chabashvili said. According to him, the complex was opened last summer, which includes 10 separate double rooms and a restaurant. A total of 700,000 lari was invested in it. Competition arrangement. During the season, we worked with 70% load, while in winter, the load stood at 35%. In summer, mostly foreign guests, namely from China, Germany, France, Poland, as well as other countries' visitors. The prices for accommodation in the hotel are seasonal. Currently, the cost of accommodation for one night amounts to 220 lari and reaches 207 lari. Chabashvili says, as for the restaurant, the facility offers customers traditional Georgian cuisine as well as European dishes. In addition, the restaurant offers a variety of drinks. At this stage, the tourist facility located on the road connecting Sirnari and Snori employs seven locals. However, with the increase in the workload, it's planned to employ a few more people during this season. The new wine brand Gianni was exported to Holland and Great Britain. The co-founder 
Gia Piradashvili spoke about this with BMDG. The partners Gia Piradashvili and Kaha Shengelia started the business last year. Wine company produced 30,000 bottles of various types of wine, which is a mixture of Georgian and French grape varieties. Gia Piradashvili says that the wine is actively sold in the local market and at the same time they are working to cover the export markets. We started sales in Holland and Great Britain. Today, Giannini produces 30,000 bottles and by the next year, Year, these volumes will probably increase. Now we are working on the development of export markets. At this stage, we have agreed to sell our products in Norway and later we will be active in other markets as well, Kia Piradashvili says. Georgian dried fruit producing company Chirchela is planning to export its products abroad this year. Executive director of the company, Irma Kwachantiradze, told the BMDG about this. According to her, based on the negotiations with German partners, the company should sign a memorandum as soon as possible, which involves the production of unlimited quantities of products at the high standard at the price of Chirchela. Our German partners should arrive at the end of April, with whom we are signing a business consolidation agreement. We will be able to produce an unlimited amount of dried fruit and sandy to Germany. We are also making contracts with the partners from Israel where 20 tons of dried fruit must be signed this year. Kwachanti Radze says according to her, Chikchela plans to enter the Israel market in October. As for the human resources, the company currently employs over 14 people. However, depending on the increase in production, it's planned to add additional staff. Kwachanti Radze also talks about increased utility tariffs and the price of raw materials. Therefore, she does not rule out the increase in the cost of products. Chichela is a family business that has been operating in the market for seven years and owns one store in Tbilisi Wake district. Eric Lekokai, executive director of InGroup, declares that Kutaisi Inn is planning to add a pool this winter. According to him, both hotel guests and local residents will be able to use the pool. As Kokai mentioned, works on the project are underway and other details are not being made public at this stage. We want to add a swimming pool to the hotel in winter, which can be visited both by vacationers and the residents of Kutaisi. As for the occupancy rate, despite the low season, the average load of the hotel made up 75 percent which was a very good indicator for the low season however the occupancy rate even exceeded 90 percent during the december it can be said that the hotel is busy almost every year the main vacationers are foreigners especially from europe this was caused by direct flights at the kutaisi airport says kokai according to him as for the prices it depends on this season however the pricing in kutaisi in have not been adjusted at this stage kutaisi in combines 100 different categories of rooms restaurants bar conference and sport halls vegan cafe Plantastic Kitchen was opened in Tbilisi with the support of TBC Bank. According to Anna Topuria, co-founder of the Bistro, vegan cooking was initially only a hobby, but she decided to open a bistro in August 2023 and applied to TBC Bank jointly with her partner. The bistro, located on Akhladiani Street, does not look like a vegan cafe, and a person who visits it for the first time will know that she's dealing with vegan cuisine. Despite the lack of space, the concept Branding interior are well thought out. The owners of the cafe rejected the stereotypical green color and the bistro looks more like an American diner. Most of the dishes repeat the menu of famous fast food chains. Everything is replicated here. Burgers, steaks, hot dogs, and etc. Most of the raw materials for our type of cuisine are fresh products, vegetables, fruits, herbs, cereals, which are of high quality in Georgia. So the supply is not a big difficulty. We prepare dishes mainly with local products, but there are ingredients that come from abroad, such as meat and cheese substitutes. These products are always of premium brands. Even the most high-end vegan restaurants use them, Anna Topuria said. As of 12 people employed in the cafe are vegans, so a way to solve the problem of menu diversity and deficient products replacement is always easy to find. Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.